and welcome back to Soul MCA's channel. If this is your first time joining us today, I do ask that you watch the video. If you like the video, go ahead and give me a like. If you really like the video, come on and join this growing bass community uh, as we learn so many songs, so many gospel songs, classic tunes, and modern tunes. All right, today we are going over a, a classic one by Fred Hammond, When You Praise. I told some of you that you'll be surprised uh, based on what I told you. Um, some of you are going to be surprised that, to see your tutorials coming up, all right? Um, so this song is going to be in F, and then it's going to modulate to F sharp. Before we get there, we've got to talk about my tuning versus your tuning in case they're not the same. I'm playing on a detuned bass, so instead of B, E, A, D, G, I'm actually B flat, E flat, A flat, B flat, G flat, all right? You can see um, that playlist there for that tuning, uh, for a tutorial on the number system, how to move it to any key, uh, that is how I teach, and a number of other things you may want to know as to why I play detuned and some other things will be in there. Now, the first time I heard this song, uh, I was at a youth conference at the time, and I actually thought that the group had weaved in these songs that happened at the end, like, um, our God is an awesome God. Yeah. I was like, yo, that's really cool that they they snuck in like familiar songs into that, that song. Years later, I heard it on Fred Hammond's album. I was like, oh, okay. Well, they did a good job with it, at least. <laughs> All right, so we're in F, and we have the following notes for that scale. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. All right, we're in F major, unless I say otherwise. All right? And um, we have three uh, accidentals that are coming along for the ride. We have our... Sharp one, we're gonna have our sharp five, and we're gonna have our flat seven, all right? When we add those to what we already have, we're gonna have one, sharp one, two, three, four, five, sharp five, six, flat seven, seven and our octave. We are ready to rumble. Let's get into the demo followed by the explanation.
All right, so the song starts off uh, straight with the intro. The intro is actually in F minor. All right, so you get something that sounds like this. She messed that up, sorry. All right, and what this is, is um, it's basically the, if you're looking at the F as your one, think about one sharp five flat seven at the top okay that's that's pretty much what's going on at the top um so what he does is he slides into this f hits the five on the string below on the d string below and then back to the one so that's your first part and let it ring out um i moved off of it a little quick in the demo but so that's your first bit slide one five one right. now remember we got to go down to the sharp five next we actually get this sound right. i'm not just doing a sharp five but um, it's a sharp five and a flat three i'm gonna take up my notes anyway just to be safe yep a sharp five and a flat three at the same time all right so <sighs> Some people may refer to this as a power chord because it's a one and a five played at the same time. When you only play two notes at one time, it's really a double stop. Uh, however, I think people will generally accept you saying that this is a chord um, or a power chord because of the one and a five. Usually there's another fifth, um, lower fifth held when you do a power chord, but whatever. It's um, semantics. It's our next right there. All right, so that's it. Sharp five at the top and a flat three at the um oh, sorry a, a sharp five at the bottom and a flat three at the top and they're played exactly at the same time. Right, I'm using this kind of motion right here to get that and the two strings. Right. Then uh you are going to go to the flat seven and the four. Okay. Same thing. So you slide. You can slide it's even better through the whole thing sounds better now me personally how i would have played this i would have uh, arpeggiated all of it so it's a bit much though so maybe arpeggiate the first two and then chord the last one so something like that Ah. Me personally, I just I I like arpeggiating things. All right, and then when you're done that, you're just gonna slide down on the B string. All right. Now in the demo, um, it seemed like I just came straight in with this. In the original song, there's a, a whole verse that happens there, but I was trying to speed things up for the sake of the demo. So then we're into the chorus. Um, the first time through, there's no bass until the very last phrase. Okay. Mm -hmm. and we praise six five and it, this is going to be a tagline through the whole thing it's actually a um I, I hammer on from the five to the six back to the five six five hammer six five and then we go into the chorus one three one three four five one Three, four, seven, three, six, five, four, eight, octave of four, three, two, three, back to our tagline, hammer on six, five, and that is the entire chorus, okay? It just happens a bunch of times in two different keys. Okay, uh, so let me play through it again. This time I'm not going to say anything. We'll play it at that pace, and you can play along. Ready? One, two. Oh, let's come in from the tagline. All right, um, as if the verse just ended. One, two, three, and top the chorus. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
And we're going to go into the verse, which is. Uh, six. Sorry. Uh, three, four, six, five, two, three. We didn't do that in the demo, but we'll talk about that in a second. Uh, then you get this lick. Um, and that is just, you know what? I could be petty here, but I'm not going to be. This is one of the licks I introduced to you all. I think this is lick number four, lick number three from one of those um, very usable licks. All right, I was just gonna say, go watch that video and you'll have it there, but I'm gonna just explain it to you here. So um, five, sharp four, four, three, one, five. Three, four, and I just slid into the five. Okay, one more time. Five sharp four. It's a chromatic down from the five to the four. Five four. Sorry. Five sharp four four three eight five three four. Okay, and we're going right back to how it was in the first time. Six five two. Three, six, five. All right. So let's um, play through that together. Uh, verse one, two, three, and. That's all you have for the verse, okay? And uh, when they come out of that verse, they do um, the, the bass player accents the when when he. Uh, and it's just doing hammer on into the two, one, five, two, one, five. And then he just starts at the three of the chorus. And four, five, the rest stays the same. All right, so then we go into, um, they kind of go back and forth between the verse and the chorus, which I cut all of that out because it's pretty much the same thing. And then I jump straight to the special chorus, if you will, where Joanne Rosario is singing. Uh, if you didn't know who that was, uh, Fred was looking her out long before he even made her CD or produced her CD. All right. And uh, at the end of the chorus for Joanne, um, after your, they're going to go five and then they're going to change keys to the five of the F sharp. And then we just play through the chorus uh, in the new key as if um, it was played in the old key. All right. Let me give a second for the, the letters people. I'm going to put up the um, appropriate new note names for the numbers here on screen. Uh, we'll just give them a second to write those down. And then we're going to play through the new key chorus, which is the same as the other, but just so uh, they have it. All right. So we're going to go to the chorus one, two, and the F sharp now. Three. Mm -hmm. One. Mm -hmm. Still singing in the last key, sorry. Follow on screen. And then we have the very last thing is um the the drive. Uh, when when we praise, when we praise, and then they go into our God is an awesome God and all those other songs. And all that is is just two, three, four, five, six, two, three, three, two, sharp one, two, again. Two, three, four, five, 
five, six, two, three, three, two, sharp, one, two, and that is it for the drive. And then the song is just going to end uh, on the last time of that. Two, three, four, five, six, two, three, six, five. Oh, that tagline. And then that's all we have for the entire song. That's it in its entirety. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I wanted to point out to you. Uh, just um, a quick point about that chorus that I did earlier when I did one, three, four, five, one, three, four, seven, three, six, five, four. That's not it, actually. It was in the verse. Sorry. Which I can't see. Three, four, three, six, five, and then I did the two. It's just, we've been seeing this in, in songs over and over again. You're going to see it in songs over and over again. Instead of just standing at the two, like I did on the demo, um, but the actual bass player did was the, took the fifth and the, the octave of that two. And that's all that was. All right, I think that's everything that you need. Um, if there are any questions, feel free to get down in the comments and ask, and I would be more than happy to help. I'm Soul MCA. Hope you enjoyed this lesson. Take care and have a great day. Happy Father's Day to those that are fathers coming up. I'm going to say it again on Father's Day. Take it easy.